Question 1. Complete the table with the help of these boxes and use decimals to write the number. So if you are given with boxes containing 100 points respectively, these are 10. So writing it as 10 horizontally and vertically 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again 10 vertically. That makes 10 into 10 equals to 100 squares. So you can also see various dots that are marked squares. We have to count them. So 10, 20 and 3, 4, 5, 6. That makes 26. So we'll write 0 0.26 because if they are all marked with dots that would make 1. So hundredths is 6 and tenths is 2 so therefore 0 0.26. There are no zeros. That makes question A. B part and first we have all docked, all encircled. So we have 1 once. So we'll write 1 in place of ones. Similarly writing in the box. Now counting them. 10, 20, 30. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they are 1.38. Never pronounce it as 1.38. It is 1.38. C part. 1 again. Now counting them. 10, 20, 2 less than 30, so it would be 28. So 1.28, not 1.28. So that makes your question number first, C part. Question 2. Write the numbers given in the following place value table in decimal form. We have to write the numbers in decimal form. So A part. No hundreds, no tens. Three ones are there. So we'll write three. Plus two over ten. Because tens are represented by dividing it by ten. Similarly with hundreds. Five over hundred. And writing the last one is zero. You don't have to write it. Or we may. So three plus 0.2 because only one zero is there plus 0 0.02 because two zeros are in the denominator so that would be 3.25 adding them on first put the decimal then it become easier 25 and the whole part is 3 25 is a decimal part remember it so that makes question A. B is 101. We have 100. So we'll write 100 as it is. Add no tens but two ones. So zero for tens and two ones. Now dot part. It is again zero. Zero point three. No thousands. Now adding it first. Put the decimal. Towards right side we have six plus zero could give you six. We have three. And now the whole part. Two. In ones position. Zero in tens position. And one in hundreds position now the C part tens we have three tens that is 30 no ones no tens hundreds we have two so first we'll put decimal then zero two now we have thousands also. That would be plus zero zero five. Adding them up, first put the decimal. 
30025 that makes our C part D part we have 200 we'll write straight away tens we have 10 therefore 10 in one's position we have 1 filling other parts with zeros makes it clear so point 9 and point zero two zeros and adding them up nine zero two two one one so it would be two hundred eleven point nine zero two two hundred eleven point nine zero two not nine hundred two then the E part, the final part, tens, then point zero for ones, two, tens is point two, hundreds would be point zero four, and thousands would be point zero zero one. Adding them up, adding is the easiest part, it gives you twelve. Point two four one. Question third. Write the following decimals in the place value table. So we have to first make value table. This is your place value table that depicts various places. So now we'll put decimal part because decimal is separated by ones and tenths. So point two nine just representing all the given numbers into this place value table. Second is we have 0, 8 and 2 as a whole part. So likewise we'll do all of them. Now it's 90.60. So first put 19 as a whole part and 6, 0. 148.32 and the last part is 200 so writing 200.812 that makes your question number third and filling others places with zero question four Write each of the following as decimals. So we have to write all these fractions into decimal form. So 20 plus 9 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.01. Adding the whole part 29 plus 0.41. That gives you 29.41. 137 plus 0 0.05 would give you 137.05 C part 0.7 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.004 so adding them up 0.764 would be your answer so 764 C part now here, 23 plus 0.2 plus 0 0.006 because we have three zeros there, so we have to write three digits. 23.206 when you add it. Last part, 725. Just summing up the whole part. Point zero nine. So that makes your question four. Question five. Write each of the following decimals 
in words. First, let's write some note. After decimal digits are written individually, that is after, as I've stated earlier also, they are written individually. So 0 0.03, 0 0.03. That's how you'll write part A. B part. It won't be 1.20. It would be 1.20. That is how you pronounce it. As stated earlier, not 20. That is not point 20. It would be point 0.20. Likewise, we'll do all of them. That is written individually. Keep that point in mind. Big cross to it. Then comes the C part. 108.56. The whole part should be named as numbers are named 10.07 and 0 0.032 not 32 and last part is 5.008 that makes us easier to identify decimals question 6 between which two numbers in tenths place on the number line does each of the given number lie so this is tenths place so we have to depict the range from where the following numbers vary. So 0, 0.00 till 0 0.10. This is the range where 0 0.06 falls. So also, therefore, it means 0 0.0 to 0 0.1. That is how we'll do all of them. B part. 0 0.45 0 0.40 to 0 0.50 C part 0 0.10 to 0. 0 0.20 and it is very close to 0 0.20 by only one point. D part 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 and it is again closer to 0 0.7. E part 0 0.92 is from 0 0.9 to 1.0 because after 9 we have to change the place and restart the process. Therefore 0 0.9 to 1. And the F part, 0 0.5 to 0 0.6. Write as fractions in lowest terms. We have to represent them all in terms of fractions and then also in simplest form. 60 over 100, 0, 0 cancels. 2, 3 is a 6, 5, 2 is a 10. So this gives you 3 over 5. B part 5 over 100 representing in terms of fractions 1 5 is a 5, 2 5 is a 10, 20, 25 is a 100. C part 75 over 100. Go with 5, 5 is a 5, 2 5 5, 5 is a 25, 5 2 is a 10, 0, 5 3 is a 15, 5 4 is a 20. So it gives you 3 over 5, 4. 18 over 100. 2 9s are 18. 2 5s are 10. 0. Not further reducible. Therefore, 9 over 50. E part. 25 over 100. Simply goes with 25. 1. 4 into 25 gives you 100. So, 1 over 4 or 1 quarters. F. 125 over 100. By 20,000, yes. 
5 2 is a 10 2 5 5 5 is a 25 5 2 is a 10 0 0 5 5 is a 25 so 1 over 8 that's question number 7 G part 66 over 1000 so it goes with 2 33 over 500.